What's up, Sigma Gang? I'm Sigma back in the video. This time we give you guys the top 5 best budget cards on NBA 2K21, my team. So let's get straight into it. Okay, here's card number one. This is West Unseal. He's basically a center that moves like a guard. Um, this card is around 40k. That's not that cheap, but um, for the skill set and his attributes, um, I would buy this card. I would save up. And um, I put a shoe on this card as well to help with his three point shooting. He really doesn't need it, but um, just for extra. So here's his stats without my coaches. Um, bo little boost. Um, and then he has 49 Hall of Fame and 21 gold. Really any badge you need. Um, 6 7 point guard slash shooting guard. Um, like I said, basically a center that plays point guard. And we're going to get straight into card number two. Okay, here's the next card. This is Pink Diamond Bobo. It's a little expensive for Pink Diamond, but um, if you've been playing this game for a while or just been playing 21 uh, for like two months in park or anything, you will fall in love with this card like I did. Um, he's 7 2, but he moves just like a guard, like I said with West Sunset. Um So if you have the experience with the game, you know how to dribble, you know how to like uh, move, you know what I'm saying? Speed boost, curry slot, um, all of that, then I would recommend this card. You might want to put a shoe and some extra badges on him because he he is a pink diamond um so yeah i have some extra badges on him and the shoe but if you've been playing this game for a while and you like to have fun this is a triple threat card uh, i wouldn't really use it in um if you only play unlimited but if you play a lot of triple threat i would save up for this card 60k not that much but um yeah getting car we're gonna get straight into card number three okay so here's card number three this is arguably not even arguably this is the best um emerald in the game uh, this is Jeff Green. Um, if you're just starting out on the game, you can get this card for like a thousand, a uh, thousand MT. Um, so like at first look, you might like just a regular card, but this card, the 79 three point is more like a 90, and he could dunk, play defense. If you're just, just starting out, you need like a small fort. Um, I recommend this card. Um, definitely a card that I started off with, and I still use it sometimes. It's triple threat, and so yeah. Like I said, a very cheap card if you're just starting out, I'll buy the Chef Green. And yeah, let's get into card number four. Okay, so here's card number four. As you can see, this is another cheap card, around 8,000 buyout. Um, he can play center, but I will play him at point guard, uh, especially if, if you play triple threat. Um, you can either put him at point guard for um, unlimited if you want, but this is like probably the best budget card in the game. Like I said, only around 8,000. He has 43 Hall of Fame badges. Or 42. Uh, this person put another one on them, so you can find some with some extra badges. Um, so like 42 Hall of Fame, 93 three pointer. Did I not mention that he is literally 69? Um, so well, he could dunk, shoot, play defense, pass the ball, like most of these um, cards that I'm showing you guys. Um, he does have Hall of Fame range extender. Um, right there. Let me make sure the other version has it too. The regular. So if you go down the badges, make sure if you guys are buying a car, make sure it has Hall of Fame registered in there. If not, um, see, as you see, it does have Hall of Fame. This is a very budget card. If you're starting out on the game or you've been playing for a while, I 100% recommend buying this card. The only reason I don't have it is because I already have a bunch of point guards. But if I didn't, I would definitely have this card in my lineup. And so let's get into the next card, card number five. Okay, here's the final card, card number five. Um, this is a very cheap card. You could probably get it for around let's say this much um probably i don't know it might be a little harder to get this card because it came out a while ago but um this is tracy mcgrady tracy mcgrady or t max is always good in 2k um so if you're starting out on the game i would try to find this card i don't know how easy it would be to get because this card came out a while ago but he can shoot dunk of course um good badges for um his overall um you know what i'm saying this is not going to be a show stopper or something that's going to get you a lot of wins in the long run but if you're just starting out on the game and you have like a newer team um like this team or something like say that your team looks kind of like this uh i'll have some of those cards i'm going to put some honorable mentions in here then so um if you also need like a dunker i use this dennis smith and triple threat um cal corp you need a spot up shooter michael porter is also a good spot up shooter 
and so yeah um that's it i'm also throw another thing in here for you guys so if you guys are looking to buy some new cars what i do when i started off is i'll go to like especially when there's super packs out so people open super packs and it's guaranteed that they get a player so of course they gonna want some of these 99 overall uh, dark matters but what are they not gonna want is like this lebron this james harden joe ingles this is what they're gonna be getting a lot so how much you want to bet i'm gonna show you guys lebron james pink diamond he's gonna be cheap right now because a lot of people are pulling him and they don't want him. So I would target cards like this. Um, and then Pink Diamond. And so, yeah, as you see, there's a lot of these cards out. Now, you could get it for cheaper than this, I promise you. Um, but yeah, like I said, I would try to find cards like that. Um, that usually would be a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Since they're in these super packs, a lot of people will be pulling them. Same thing with these, I would target some of the bottom cards. Cause a lot of people pulling them and they don't want them so they're gonna be selling them so yeah another thing i would do if i'm starting out um i would snipe so sniping is you know if you got a lot of time in your hands just go through here and then put it at like a low amount and then see if people are putting like cards out for 500 buyout and then resell them or just put them in your lineup these cards are way more than what they're up and then you know what i'm saying you have you a good center like this 95 standing dunk for literally 800 and then you could really resell them so like for example capella Cap uh, capella and then sapphire you see that one you know what i'm saying you got all these 800 ones 750 so you can just keep them on your squad or resell them for a little bit more so yeah, that's it for this video like comment subscribe if you like this my team content yeah peace